Well, hey there, folks. Today I'm going to show you how to install your 722-029 shackle kit and your 722-032 rear leaf spring bracket kit on your Chevy pickup. These are real easy to do, so stay tuned. First thing you're going to want to do is lift your vehicle safely according to manufacturer's instructions and go ahead and remove both rear wheels. So for this next part of the task, folks, you're going to want to go ahead and support the rear differential. You're going to use a jack or a tripod, depending on how you got your vehicle lifted. Make sure you follow all safety instructions in your manual, though. Now, once you get that rear differential all supported and everything safe, you're going to have to borrow a cutting torch or perhaps a small grinder from a neighbor or a friend. Go ahead and just cut the head off those rivets. Remove this bracket here, and we're just going to go ahead and gently set that shackle down. Undo the bolts and we're almost done. Well, you've gone ahead and used your torch or grinder and got the heads off those rivets. Go ahead and grab a small hammer. You're going to want to give that a couple light taps and that thing will come right off. We'll work on getting our bolts out and get that new one pulled on and be back on the road in no time. Nice and easy. So now you've gone ahead and just tapped your hangers off the frame. Go ahead and take a small punch and pop those rivets all the way through that are left. Make sure you got your rear differential supported. We're going to go ahead and unhook them lower shock bolts and let that differential down. We're going to slowly let the differential down, but be mindful of the spring and make sure it doesn't hit the exhaust. Once your leaf springs down, where you can work on it, you're going to want to go ahead and use a wrench and ratchet, probably a little bit of penetrating oil. Take that nut off and go ahead and slip that bolt right out of there. We'll get our new doorman spring shackle kit installed. That one's going to be tough. Well, sometimes you might have to use a couple power tools like this half inch impact gun. that stubborn bolt out of there. Oh, there we go. Oh man, look at that rusty old part. So you can see pulling those bolts out was a piece of cake. Now you've got everything off, you may want to consider getting a nice stiff wire brush. Let's get some of this scaly rust off there before we go ahead and install our new Dorman hanger kit. Go ahead and grab your 722-029 Dorman leaf spring shackle kit comes with all the necessary hardware. We're going to want to stick it on our spring eyelet. We're going to go ahead and insert the bolt, stick the nut on it loosely. We're not going to tighten it down just yet. Now that we've got both our shackles started, bolts are loose, let's go ahead and lift this rear end up a little bit. Make sure you're careful and follow all manufacturer's instructions. Now that we've got that shackle kit up on there, the bolts are loose, things out of the way, man, this is looking good. Let's grab your 722-032 rear leaf spring bracket kit. Comes with all the hardware. Man, what a great, what a great product. We're gonna go ahead and just slip that right up in there. We're gonna stick some of the bolts on it. Just kind of leave that hanging loose for a minute. Put this thing down. Stick the bolt in the bottom of that shackle. Man, we'll be out of here in no time. Once you've got your bracket up there, you may have to raise and lower your spring and shackle kit in order to gain access to the bolts. You're going to want to use some good quality hand tools, a torque wrench. Look up the factory service spec on that and get them bolts tightened down to factory specs. You guys remember from the beginning, that factory bolt came through from the inside of the vehicle towards the box. But if your truck's equipped with a hitch, you have to go ahead and remove the hitch in order to gain access to put that bolt through. If you choose to do so, you can put it through from the outside, but I'd recommend sticking with the book and definitely follow the manufacturer's instructions. You'll need to go ahead and just repeat this procedure on the other side. We'll go ahead and put our shocks back on. Let this sink down and get these bolts torqued. Now as I mentioned, once you get those shackle hangers and shackle kits on, well, that was super easy. We're going to go ahead and reinstall these shocks. We need to move the rear end around to get it to line up. We'll get those installed. Put the bolt and nut back in. We'll look up in the service manual these things torque back down. Oh, man, it's good and tight. There you have it, folks. 
So on your dormant shackle kit and bracket, you can see it's pretty easy. It only takes a couple of minutes, a few basic tools, and you too can put the new shackle bracket on your Chevy pickup.